In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the Bohr model, specifically using the periodic table from the New York State Regents reference tables. So the first thing we need to look at is the periodic table, which looks like this. And if we zoom in to the key over here, or the legend, and we look at one individual element tile. We notice that we have all the information that we need for each element, the atomic mass, the symbol, the atomic number, and the electron configuration. The electron configuration is what we're going to use to draw the Bohr model. So the first number represents how many electrons are in the first energy level. The second number represents how many electrons are in the second energy level. And some even have more energy levels, which we'll see in a bit. So let's say we're looking at chlorine. All right, so all we need is the electron configuration for chlorine. So if I write this out bigger, for chlorine, I'm going to write out my information right here. So the element is chlorine, symbol CL, and my electron configuration is 2-8-7. Okay, so that's all I need from the periodic table. So now, I'm going to draw, start with the nucleus. Now, some, some people include protons and neutrons when they're drawing it. I'm just going to include the element symbol. So the element symbol, CL, so that is my nucleus. And now I'm going to start drawing my energy levels for all my electrons. So my first energy level has two electrons. This is my first energy level, and there are two electrons which I'm going to denote as these dots here. Okay. My second energy level has eight electrons. So I'm going to draw another ring with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now my third energy level has seven electrons. So now I'm going to draw seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is the Bohr model for chlorine. Let's look at another example. Let's look at lithium or Li and the electron configuration on the bottom left of the element tile. So I'm going to write down my information. Element name lithium, symbol Li, and my electron configuration is 2-1. That's all I need from the periodic table. So now I'm going to draw um, a circle that represents the nucleus. So I'm just going to write Li with a circle. Now I'm going to start drawing my energy levels. So the first energy level has two electrons. So I'm going to draw my first ring with two dots. And my second energy level has one electron. It's what I like to call the penthouse. 
the electrons sitting at the outer ring. Let's do one more example with the element nitrogen, N, and the electron configuration. So again, I'm going to write down my information. So my element name, nitrogen, element symbol is N, and my electron configuration is 2 dash 5. So that's all I need the periodic table for. And now I can start drawing the Bohr model. So I'm just going to draw my nucleus with the element symbol N. Now I'm going to start drawing my elect electron energy levels. So the first energy level has two electrons and you'll start noticing that the first energy level will only have up to two electrons. Now my second energy level has five electrons. I'm going to draw another ring. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now it really doesn't matter where you put the dots. They can be all on one side for all I care. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have the right number of ele electrons for each energy level. That's it.